Good morning, everyone. Welcome to A Day in My Life. My name is Emily Duffner, and I am a 2L at Notre Dame Law School. Today is Monday, March 15th. It is a little bit before 5.30 a.m. I am about to head over to the Pure Bar South Bend studio on Eddy Street. I am an instructor there, and on Monday mornings, I teach at 6, 7.15, and 8.30 a.m., so a nice early day to my start. Oh my goodness, a nice early start to my day. Um, it is early and I still have not had my coffee yet. <laughs> but a little bit about myself before we head over there. I am a 2L, as I said. I'm originally from Short Hills, New Jersey, which is a suburb of New York City. I went to Notre Dame for undergrad and graduated in 2019. So I went straight through to law school and I am going to be working in New York this summer at White & Case and will hopefully be returning there after graduation. So that is a little bit about myself and I will be sure to bring you with me throughout my day all over campus at the law school and talk about the things that I do on a typical Monday. So I will see you soon. Taking care of our classes is definitely one of my favorite ways to stay active. We also have two gyms on campus. My favorite one is in the Duncan Student Center. It opened in 2018, so it's really new and a really nice facility. There are cardio machines, a free weight section, basketball courts, and even a rock climbing wall, which is where I broke my ankle. I fell off the bouldering wall. Oops. All right, so I am at Starbucks on Eddy Street with my friend Jenna, and we're gonna talk a little bit about housing options. So a lot of students live in the Foundry Apartments, which are located on Eddy Street. So Jenna, you wanna talk a little bit about those? Yeah, for sure. So a lot of students live at the Foundry because it's super convenient right across the street from campus. There it is. <laughs> Very close to Starbucks, Brothers, O'Rourke's, which are popular bars and law student hangouts. Um, it's also super close to a brand new Trader Joe's, <laughs> which is probably the biggest perk. Um, and it has fully furnished apartments as well as a pool. So very, very good place to live. Definitely. And Jenna right now is an AR in Lewis Hall. So if you want to talk a little bit about what being an AR is, that would be great. Yeah. So AR stands for assistant rector. So when you're an AR, you live in one of the undergraduate dorms here at Notre Dame. You have your own apartment um, with your own bathroom, kitchen, um, air conditioning, and the like. <laughs> um, and basically, you just take care of the undergrads and make sure that they're safe, happy, healthy, um, you deal with any problems that they might be having, um, and then the university pays for your room and board, as well as um, provides you with a tuition stipend and a bi-weekly salary. As well as a meal plan. As well as a meal plan. Yeah, so big perks to being an AR, and you can start doing that once you are a 2L at Notre Dame Law School. So if that's something you might be interested in, always a great housing option lovely to get some free housing. <laughs> Before I head home, I thought that I would give you a quick tour of Eddy Street. So on either side of me right now are the Foundry South Apartments and the new Trader Joe's is going to be located at the very end of this street. All of these apartments are pretty new and have been built within the last year and a half or so. Up here we see some of the restaurants like Jimmy John's, Blaze Pizza, Five Guys, Chipotle, and there are more apartments located on top of those restaurants. Now I'm headed on my way back to the Overlook Apartments, which are where I live. Both the Overlook and the Foundry are located right on the outskirts of campus. I'm riding along the edge right now. It takes about 15 minutes to walk from either apartment building to get to the law school. Here is the Overlook Apartment, and this is my building. It's about 10, 10 in the morning. My first class is at 11. I have constitutional criminal procedure. And so we're gonna get ready and head over to campus. So this is the trip from my apartment complex to campus. If there are any Notre Dame football fans out there, you'll enjoy this part. To the left right there is the football team's indoor facility. And on the left right there is Notre Dame Stadium. So it's really cool that I get to pass Notre Dame Stadium on my way to the law school every day. Here we can see the law school arch and I'm headed over to the side door. After class, I went to the library to read and prepare for my next class at 2 p.m., which is Trusts and Estates. Right now, I'm walking up the stairs towards the Commons, which is a pretty social hangout spot. There's also a cafe in the Commons where you can get lunch, coffee, snacks, etc. 
walking into the library right now. As a law student here, you'll become very familiar with this place. This is the main reading room. It's absolutely beautiful and I love all of the windows. This is the courtroom. It holds about 200 people. And in a normal year, speakers would be invited to come give presentations here and even live court sessions would sit here. Hey everyone, it is 1.57 p.m., which means that trust in estate starts in three minutes. This class is in the courtroom, which is bigger, probably the biggest space we have in the law school for classes right now with the socially distant policies and everything. As you can see, certain spots are marked off by green tape, so you can't sit there. This class is a little fun right now because our professor has decided to do a March Madness of cold calls. So he has split us up based on where we are from geographically and then there are head-to-head -head matchups every day. So since I'm from New Jersey, I am off today because the West? The, no. The O-Michiana. The O-Michiana as in Ohio, Michigan, Indiana people are on call today. So get to relax a little bit. I had a physical therapy appointment at 5 p.m., so now I'm heading over to the Student Health Services building. Like I said, I broke my ankle and I actually had to get surgery over Christmas break, so now I go to physical therapy twice a week at St. Liam's. So it is 6.10 and I just got home. I am not done yet though. I have a call, a Zoom call with an admitted student at 6.30 and then I have a little bit of work that I'm going to do tonight. I don't have class tomorrow until 1.45 and I only have one class, which is really nice because that means that I can do my reading for that class on Tuesday morning and get a lot of work done on Tuesdays. I have pretty busy Wednesdays, so it's really nice to only have that one class on Tuesday and get a little bit of a break. All right, my Zoom call is over and I am ready to get my dinner in the oven. So easy and absolutely one of my favorite dinners uh, to make in law school because you just pop it in the oven. So we are gonna get that in there. Okay, so while my dinner is in the oven, I am going to work a little bit on my edits that are due for my journal. So I am on the Notre Dame Journal of International and Comparative Law, which we call JICL for short. And so when you're on a journal, part of your job is to edit the articles that are going to be put forth in the next edition. So you're looking at their footnotes, you are looking at the uh, writing, looking for any grammar errors, spelling errors, um, but pretty much your main job is to look at the footnotes and correct their citations. So when you are in law school, you will definitely be getting familiar with this guy. This is the blue book. Um, it is an entire book all with the rules for doing legal citations. It is chock full of rules, but once you learn how to use the blue book, it just, it gets easier. It's like second nature. Um, yeah, so being on a journal, that is part of it is doing edits. And then another big part of it is writing your notes. So that is going to be an article on a topic of your choice. Um, my note was due last Saturday on March 6th, so it is done, it is submitted, and it's really nice to have that out of the way for the rest of the semester. Um, it's kind of like a one really big paper that you're working on all year, so it feels really good to kind of get that load off of your shoulders. But yeah, now I'm gonna do my edits and wait for the timer on my dinner to go off, and then once I eat dinner, I have this very strong feeling I'm gonna probably not want to do anything else for the rest of the night. So this might be the uh, last productive thing that I do tonight. This is the end of my day. It's like 8.20 p.m. right now. Um, I guess that you can use this video as proof of the fact that you don't need to pull crazy all-nighters in law school. There's always something to do in law school. There's always something to keep you busy. But the nice thing is that if you are productive during the day and you stay on top of things, you can have these like relaxing evenings to yourself where you just take some time, decompress, do something for yourself, make a nice dinner, maybe, uh, you know, read a book, watch a show, watch a movie. So yeah, it does not have to be all law school all the time, crazy late nights, living off of coffee. I promise, um, I do not do that. And I have made it just fine. So I hope that you all have a great rest of your day whenever you're watching this. And maybe I'll get to see you around campus next semester. Bye, thanks for coming around with me.